so hello everyone. So this is a quick one um, about a little side project I did uh, the last couple of days. Um, so this is a, a Eurek case um, I built on my own. Um, so this is something I think if you're a bit into woodworking and um, I think this is something that you can easily build on your own. Um, so yeah, let's take a look. So yeah, in the last couple of days I, um, I built this case here. So this is um, two rows um, with 104 units uh, for, for modules. So this is two rows of uh, 104 HP. Um, so I used um, these aluminium rails here. Um, I think they're quite nice. I put these um, these uh, square nuts in, uh, five millimeter square nuts. Uh, so they, they look something like this here. Um, so I put four of these rails in. Um, um, so they go in here with these um, M5 screws. So here's the profile. So basically the M5 screws, uh, they cut in in, in the soft aluminium here, so they cut in the thread. So to, to just get them in place. Um, for the wood I used um, just 18 millimeter wood from the hardware store. This is, so this is something which is very common here in Germany. Um, so you get this in, in every hardware store, I guess. Um, uh, what I did for the first time actually is um, I used uh, a router here to put to put the base plate in. So I basically here, uh, so I'm not a pro in, in woodworking, I must say, but it's what I think nevertheless it turned out great. Um, so you can see. Uh, um, so basically I, I cut in uh, this here with the router and the base plate, uh, the bottom plate is basically in there. Um, and it's just um, four pieces of wood. I think this is 10 or 11 millimeters. So I have enough space here for the power supply um, and the modules uh, on top. So it's just those sides. So this is basically just screwed together. Um, and then there is the power supply. Um, so this is uh, bolted through the bottom here and and the bus board so this is uh, basically here for for power for 20 modules um yeah and then there is this um this module here which basically brings in power uh, uh into the case so i don't have to drill uh through the case, so I can just go in here with the wall ward adapter basically, and it also gives me some power indicator uh, and a nice switch. So, this is uh, basically pretty simple. So, here's another one, so that just gives you um, some possibility to get, get the power into your case, um, and here you can connect it uh, to the power supply basically. So, that's it. Um, so, and then the, the power supply is connected here with this. Um, 16-pin connector uh, uh, to the bus board. So I think this is something you can easily build on your own. Um, so also you don't need these um, aluminium rails here, I think. So you could also put just some wood in here, so which is basically uh, one centimeter thick and just drill drill in here. So this would also be possible, I guess. Um, so this is, looks just a bit nicer. Um, so yeah, the rough dimensions, um, so, so the, the rails, uh, 530 millimeters uh, in length, so this is 104 HP, um, and then I got two of the rows, um, yeah, so this is the rough dimensions here, so this is basically this 80 millimeter wood on both, both sides, um, and this would be here for the for for the holes here to drill in um, to to get the rails in place. Yeah, so that's basically it. Um, maybe add one or more one or two millimeters here to have enough space for adjusting. Um, if it's too tight, then it would be annoying, I guess.
So yeah, we can uh, put the power in here and uh, turn it on. So you can see um, the power indicators uh, here are lighting up. Um, yeah. So it looks fine. Um, so yeah, let's get some oils in. So yeah, um, I put all the modules in, I had running around um, and there's still a lot of space left so I guess I need to build some more modules. So alright, that's uh, all for today. Um, so yeah, I think the case uh, turned out great. So if you're uh, into a bit of woodworking and uh, DIY stuff, you can build the case um, with power supply. Uh, and so on for yourself. So if you uh, source the parts for yourself, I think this is a great option for your case. So if you're into building um, synthesizers yourself, um, make sure to check out my store. So I offer all sorts of uh, DIY kits in Eurek format. Um, and yeah, keep on tinkering. See you soon.